Hello, Bearcats. Today, we're going to take a look at Clever, Google Classroom, and Gmail. Let's get started. I want to make sure that everybody knows how to do this right, because it can be a little confusing. All right. When you first get onto your uh, home screen or your desktop, you are going to see Google Chrome. Now that doesn't have to be right here in the middle where I have it. It could be at the bottom, it could be on the side, but it looks like that. And that is your Google Chrome. You're gonna go ahead and click on that button. That button is gonna take you to the internet through Google Chrome. All right, once you click on that, you're gonna see the line of, or the box at the top. On that, in that box or on that line at the top, you're going to write clever.com. All right, so let me make that a little bit closer. So, on that, in that box at the top of your page, you are going to write clever.com, just like that. Clever.com. Don't need to worry about capitals or anything, just write clever.com. When you do that, you're going to click enter, and that's going to take you to this page. This is the um, opening page of Clever. All right, so it is the home page for that particular website, and you're going to see some different things on this page, such as uh, at the top, you're going to see where it says log in as a student. All right, log in as a student. However, when I click on that or click on the arrow there, I'm going to see some things that say log in as a student, and then it says parent or guardian, teacher or staff, district admin, application partner. There's nowhere that it says student, so I'm actually going to click on teacher. So click on teacher or staff. What that's gonna do is it's gonna open up a new box for you, and it's gonna look like this. There it is, there's your login information. It's gonna ask you to search for your school. Now this is weird too, because it says search for your school, but it's not looking for Devers or Ferguson or um, Hannapan or the high school. It's looking for your school district. So in that box, you are going to write York City School District. Easy, just type York City School District, press enter, and it will take you then to this page. Now you're at your login, your very own login. And you'll see at the top, it does say York City School District. All right, so we've got to York City School District. Now you are automatically in there, but you need to put in your username and password. So your username is gonna be the same as your password. You are going to type in there your lunch number. So remember, your lunch number is that number that you have used uh, all the time when you go to the cafeteria and they ask you to punch your lunch number in. So you're going to punch that lunch number in for your username and your password. And that's going to open up Clever for you. So you'll be able then to get into Clever. Now here's an example of a teacher page. So this is part of what you'll see, um, you'll, you can see on a teacher page, but you, you should be able to say your, see your different teachers. So one thing you're gonna wanna be able to see is the different teachers. So for instance, this is Mrs. Landis, this is Mrs. Mace. And so you'll be able to decide which teacher for right this second do you need to get into? Are you doing math? Are you doing reading? Which one? So you'll click on whichever teacher it is for that particular time, whether it's for your Zoom lesson, your Google Classroom lesson, or just to be able to go in and start some assignments. So you'll click on that teacher's page. All right, so you click on it, and here's another teacher, but here's some examples. You'll see on that opening page, there might be some example, um, some announcements, some other things, some uh, assignments. And you can see on this particular teacher's um, page that she has her Zoom room meeting. So you can click right there it's gonna take you right to her Zoom meeting. So if you look right above that, it says this is the link for your daily Zoom meetings with Mrs. Snyder at 9.30 and 12.45. So you go in at 9.25 probably just to make sure everything's working and wait, she might not open it till 9.30, but you can click on that Zoom meeting and be prepared for your 9.30 class. All right, so that's how you're gonna get into those Zoom meetings. 
And your teachers might have the same kind of thing for you to say, hey, click on this to get into your Google Classroom at the correct time. Okay, so now if you take a look here, this right here is the same information that you might find on this page. Notice how I've got local apps and then underneath here it says clever help resources. Well, here on this whole page, those are some of the things that I might see as, an, as additional um, links or places for me to go for some help or some different things that the teachers want me to do. But on here, typically you are going to find your Google Classroom. So to get into your Google Classroom, you are going to click on that, but you have to be logged into Google. And that's how you're gonna get into your Gmail as well. So some teachers I know I have seen, they might have, they will have the Google Classroom link for you to click on, but they might have just Gmail in case you want to just check your Gmail, that email account through uh, Google. So if they do, you're gonna get into that regardless the same way. So to do that, it might seem a little confusing because you have to have an email account. I know some people have very long email accounts and they have numbers associated with them. Well, you have a Gmail account that is through our district and you can use it to send messages to your teacher and talk to your teacher, et cetera. So your email address is gonna go there. To figure out your email address, what we're gonna do is we're going to take a couple things and here's the information. You, the first part of your email address is going to be the first five letters of your last name. So as an example, my last name is Bueno, B-U-E-N-O. Hey, I've got five letters completely. Yours could be longer, it could be shorter. If it's longer, just the first five. If it's shorter, you can't add any extras. So mine is Bueno, B-U-E-N-O, that's the first five. And then the first five letters of your first name. Uh-oh, here's where we have an issue, right? Because my first name is Laura, L-O-R-A. That's only four letters. I'm not going to add any more, though. So it's done. So mine would be um, Lor Bueno Laura. And then here's um, where I'm going to put the at yorkbearcats.org. So typically in a Gmail account, it says at Gmail but we're not doing that at yorkbearcots.org. That is your email address now for school. And you'll be able to use this all the time to be able to send emails to your teacher. All right, so it's York, bueno, Laura at yorkbearcats.org. So think about what yours would be. You might wanna take and write down the first five letters of your last name, the first five letters of your first name, right at yorkbearcats.org and then have that there so that you know what it is. Some of your teachers I know have already given it to you, so that's good too. All right, now, once you get in there, see, we've got bueno Laura at yorkbearcats.org. Now I'm gonna enter my password. Oh boy, you need a password as well. So my, bear, um, my password is going to be B cats, capital B, make sure it is a capital B, and then cats, like bear cats, but we took out the bear. B cats, and then it's going to be my lunch number again. So as an example, I've got B cats, number, 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 and then that's it. Then I click on the button that says next with that. B cats, one, 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 and enter and then it takes me into my google page and this looks like any google page you've probably seen however now up in the right hand corner you're going to see some new letters some new words you're going to see something that says gmail you're going to see something that looks like a waffle which we sometimes call the waffle you're also going to see up in the right hand corner a circle and it typically will have the first letter of your first name in it so you've got some choices. If you click on Gmail, all that's gonna do is take you directly to your email. So you can just go directly to your Gmail or email and look at all the messages that you have or send a message. If you click on that waffle, it will take you to this box. And this box has a 
lot of stuff in it, lots of information for you to do or lots of different things that you can try out. So here you've got your Gmail, you've got your classroom, and then your teachers are gonna start working with you on things like documents or docs and sheets and slides and maybe things in your calendar. So you don't have to use those yet. You can open them up and play around with them and check out and see what you think, experiment around. But typically right now, we're gonna start out with Gmail and the classroom. Okay, now you know how to get in. Does anybody have any questions? If you do, please ask your teacher. I hope that this has helped you get into all of your classes and that if you do have any questions, please reach out to your teachers. They are there to help you. Hope you have a great day. Bye.